Scientists have just unveiled the world's first functional semiconductor made from graphene. This isn't just another scientific milestone, it's a game changer that could reignite the race to push beyond the limits of Moore's law. Imagine hardware for AI, like neuromorphic chips, turbocharged to unprecedented speeds. Even the tiniest devices, from future augmented reality glasses to watches, are on the brink of having on-device AI capabilities, thanks to this innovation. Led by the visionary Dr. Walter Deheer, the team spent a decade perfecting epitaxial graphene bonded to silicon carbide. Their result? A material with 10 times greater mobility than traditional silicon. Think of it as transitioning from driving on a gravel road to a superhighway for electrons. Not only does this mean faster computing, but it also opens doors to potential advancements in quantum computing. Stay tuned, because the future of electronics just took an exhilarating turn. We got kind of lulled into thinking that silicon is the end all of uh, electronics. It's not, it's the beginning. This most recent paper, we started to figure out how to turn graphene into a semiconductor, because natural graphene is not a semiconductor. The good thing about graphene is not only can you make things smaller and faster and uh, with less heat dissipation, you're actually using properties of electrons that are not accessible in silicon. So this is really a paradigm shift. It's a different way of doing electronics. So we don't really know where this ultimately is gonna end, but we know we're opening a door in a major paradigm shift in doing electronics. Graphene is the next step. Who knows what the step's gonna be after that, but there's a good chance that graphene can take over and be the paradigm for the next 50 years. All right, let's dive deeper into this electrifying breakthrough. So what exactly did the researchers at Georgia Tech do and why is it such a big deal? Well, they found a way to grow graphene on silicon carbide wafers using specialized furnaces. This process created epitaxial graphene, a form of graphene that's seamlessly bonded to silicon carbide. It's like combining the strength of two superheroes into one unbeatable team. Now you might be wondering, what's the big fuss about graphene? Graphene is like the rock star of materials. It's a single layer of carbon atoms arranged in a honeycomb lattice, making it incredibly strong, lightweight, and electrically conductive. But here's the kicker. Traditional graphene didn't quite fit the bill for electronics because it lacked the right band gap. Imagine trying to control the flow of water with a leaky faucet. It just wouldn't work efficiently. Dr. Lei Ma, the co-founder of the Tianjin International Center for Nanoparticles and Nanosystems, pointed out that graphene couldn't switch on and off effectively. But the Georgia Tech team cracked that code. Their breakthrough allowed graphene to finally have the right band gap, enabling it to switch on and off at the perfect ratio. This is monumental because it means graphene can now be used in electronic devices, offering faster speeds and lower resistance. Picture this. Your future smartphone or smartwatch equipped with this graphene-based semiconductor could run AI applications smoothly without draining the battery or overheating. It's like having a supercharged engine in a compact car. But wait, there's more. The Regents Professor of Physics at Georgia Tech, Dr. Walter Deheer, compared the electron movement in their refined graphene semiconductor to driving on a freeway. This analogy perfectly captures the essence of their achievement. Electrons can now move faster and more efficiently, paving the way for ultra-fast computing and data processing. It's as if we've gone from crawling in a traffic jam to zooming down an open highway at lightning speed. Moreover, this breakthrough isn't just about improving current technology. It's about shaping the future. Dr. Deheer likened their discovery to the Wright brothers' historic moment in aviation. Just as the Wright brothers revolutionized flight, this research could revolutionize electronics and computing. Imagine a world where quantum computers powered by graphene-based materials solve complex problems in seconds, unlocking new frontiers in science, medicine, and beyond. Another exciting aspect is the material's compatibility with quantum mechanical wave properties of electrons. This means it's not just faster, it's also primed for advancements in quantum computing. Quantum computing promises to solve problems that are currently unsolvable with classical computers, from simulating complex molecules to optimizing logistics on a global scale. With graphene at the helm, the possibilities seem limitless. 
Additionally, the Georgia Tech team emphasized that their epitaxial graphene bonded to silicon carbide is superior to any other 2D semiconductors in development. This isn't just a small step forward. It's a giant leap that could redefine the semiconductor industry. Companies and researchers worldwide will undoubtedly take note and explore how this breakthrough can be integrated into existing technologies and future innovations. In summary, the Georgia Tech researchers have unlocked the potential of graphene as a game-changing material for electronics. They've addressed the long-standing challenges and paved the way for faster, more efficient, and versatile electronic devices. From AI-powered gadgets to groundbreaking quantum computers, the future looks brighter and faster with graphene leading the charge. So buckle up because we're on the fast track to a new era of electronics and computing, all thanks to this revolutionary breakthrough. Hold on to your seats because the impact of this graphene breakthrough on artificial intelligence, AI, is nothing short of revolutionary, especially for consumer-grade AI devices. Imagine your everyday gadgets like smartphones and smart speakers suddenly becoming supercharged with AI capabilities. This isn't science fiction, it's on the horizon, thanks to the remarkable properties of graphene. Firstly, let's talk speed. We're not just talking about incremental improvements here, we're talking about a quantum leap in processing power. With graphene-based semiconductors, AI algorithms could run exponentially faster. Imagine your smartphone instantly recognizing your voice commands, translating languages in real time, or even predicting your needs before you articulate them. The days of lagging AI responses could soon be a thing of the past, but speed is just the tip of the iceberg. Graphene's low resistance means AI devices could operate more efficiently, consuming less energy. Picture this, your AI-powered smartwatch running for weeks or even months on a single charge, all while performing advanced health monitoring, activity tracking, and personalized recommendations. The energy efficiency of graphene could revolutionize the battery life of consumer electronics, making AI more accessible and convenient than ever before. Now, let's delve into the realm of augmented reality, AFR. AR glasses have the potential to transform how we interact with the world around us, overlaying digital information onto our physical environment. However, the current challenge is packing powerful AI capabilities into lightweight, wearable devices. Enter graphene. Its lightweight nature and high conductivity make it the ideal material for future AR glasses. Imagine wearing sleek, stylish glasses that enhance your reality with AI-driven insights, all powered by graphene-based chips. Furthermore, graphene's compatibility with quantum computing opens up new horizons for consumer-grade AI. Quantum AI algorithms could unlock unprecedented capabilities, from hyper-accurate predictive modeling to real-time optimization of complex systems. Imagine AI-powered smart homes that adapt to your preferences in real-time AI-driven vehicles that navigate traffic with unparalleled efficiency, or AI-assisted healthcare devices that monitor your well-being with unmatched precision. The possibilities are truly limitless.